I'm excited to have you on my channel. I found this interesting challenge on Aka Rank and I thought let's solve it together with a difficulty level of medium. Hmm. But essentially the challenge is there is a URL and at that URL you have a list of movies and what we want to try to do is figure out between any random set of numbers between one and maybe three which movie has the longest running time and between one and three if you pick one forty nine minutes avengers infinity war you would absolutely be right that's what we're trying to accomplish here but we've been given further tasks and the task is let us pick a movie between the range of one thousand and eight thousand so the serial number 1000 and the serial number 8000. What movie has the highest longer running time between those two? So I'm just going to walk you through the logic of the script. I look forward to your thoughts on what we could do better and how we could better reason about this. The first thing we do in creating anything is import our weapons of battle, in which case is request for making our HTTP request and then we want beautiful soup for passing our data from the request and then i'm going to use pandas to do some data analysis data later on very minor let's keep this array for now um, and go straight to the function what does the function do we've written a function and that function first get the url then let beautiful soup create something that we can interact with based on the URL that we gave into the function and then we have movies and the first thing that you observe is subdata to find all div class of lister item content that means we have to look at our HTML and then think what has a class of lister item content and if we do inspect we we'll find that each movie movie has a class of lister item mode advanced but I really don't need everything inside that, do I? So I have decided to opt for list item content. Inside list item content, you can get the name of the movie, the serial number, and ultimately you'll be able to get the runtime of the movie. Once we have all the movies, right, we are going to run a for loop through all the movies. For all the movies that we have, we want to try something. And that thing is create a runtime value, and that value is the value of span class run time okay so what does class span run time look like let's inspect right so we can see that there's a span of class run time and it has a text value of 149 minutes but 149 minutes is not something that python understands so we have to manipulate this data into something that the program can understand we have to split this if we split this into an array based on empty values then we will get an array of 149 and minutes if we get an array of 149 and all we have to do is pick 149 which is the zeroth item as we remember all items in an array are at zero based the zeroth item is the first item so we are going to pick the first item which is 149 and we are going to convert it into an integer because we need it as a number so then we are going to ask an interesting question if runtime that we have found is greater than the most i counter which is currently zero right then we want the most i to be equal to the value of the movie that we have just found and then we want the most i counter to be equal to the value of runtime which means the very first time the script run it's going to be 149 minutes, right? Because that's the very first thing it sees. So at the very first time the script runs, it's going to think runtime, which is 149 minutes, is greater than zero. So let us make the most I Avengers Infinity Wars. And then the most I counter is, is going to be equal to 149 minutes. Okay, um, so that's what we are doing inside this function and then if we have any error we are just going to pass it okay so we are able to look through this web page and find out which movie has the highest runtime but what we really want to find out is 
between 1000 and between 8000 which movie has the highest run time what we're going to do next is we are going to create a range when when you go range 1000 to 8000 8000 is excluded right so you'd have to include an additional number to make sure that we are looking at range 1000 to 8000 what we are saying here is anything between 1000 and 8000 and within a split of 50 so essentially you go from 1050 to 1100 and so on, so on and so forth so that's essentially what we're looking for here so we say try a starting url for each number inside 1000 to 8000 with a break of 50 so that's 1000 1050 1100 we want you to call that url and then run this function find the highest number inside inside of it once we find the highest inside of it we are going to push the highest value inside this master list that we have created when you run that function you can see that we have after party which is 120 minutes done pass which is 122 minutes Sudani from Nigeria which is 123 minutes which I absolutely relate to because I am from Nigeria and then we have a lot more so we create a master list which is essentially an array of the, the topmost value there are many ways we could go around this but I thought that the simplest way to go around this was create a data frame based on the values that we've created which is the name of the movie and the runtime of the movie and then look for the max value and in my case the max value was actually where runtime is greater than 400 I found that it was women make film a new road movie through cinema 840 minutes ultimately I am excited that we are able to reach a conclusion on the answer that we were looking for in the first place thank you very much again here is the overview of the project i would love to know your thoughts thank you so much